Uh, Peter Youngbear joins us next. Peter is a longtime Plainfield resident, a Goddard College graduate, I do believe. Uh, and you, uh, Peter, uh, are um, a long time. You were, you were a state representative for a number of years. I remember you, your days on the Appropriations Committee in the Vermont House. And, and then uh, you had worked for years more recently as the executive director of a uh, free health clinic at Barry called the People's Health and Wellness Clinic. And uh, I know that place well because my wife worked there for a while as well. Kathy, <laughs> yes, she did. Great job. And, uh, <laughs> and so uh, Vermont's a small place. You know, it's amazing the connections that people have with one another in this state. And uh, so, Peter, thanks so much for joining the program. Glad well, to have you on. Thank you. And, and tell me from your perspective, I mean, you, you obviously have worn a number of different hats in the community here over the years. And um, uh, what do you see as, first, the, the, uh, the greatest joy or benefit of living in Plainfield, maybe even doing business here for folks who do that? And what are the biggest challenges? Well, um, Plainfield is a wonderful town. Um, I know you had uh, Dustin from Goddard College on there before, and yes, I, I am a graduate back in 1972. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the, the impact that Goddard has had on not only the Plainfield community, but the greater central Vermont community, it was the second largest employer in uh, central Vermont at the time before it downsized. So it had a, a very large impact. But uh, one, one of the sort of long-term uh, effects of that is that there are a lot of creative people have been brought to the central Vermont area, attracted by the college, and have contributed in so many ways to the state, arts and culture and uh, politics, um, um, et, et cetera. So I think there's a, a human richness to the community that's, that's very attractive. Um, the other thing that attracts me personally is the rural nature. I live way up in way up in the boonies. Mm -hmm. um, used to be four miles of dirt road, although a little of that has been paved over the years. Um, but uh, up by Spruce Mountain, and uh, I do really appreciate the the rural beauty and uh, and living off the land. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, that that's an important uh, important part of the attraction for me. That's great. What about challenges? Do you feel like there's anything that uh, you know makes you Maybe getting in and out of town through that famous intersection, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. The blinking light intersection is, has always been a challenge. Um, I know during my term in the legislature was eighty one through ninety two. It was a hot topic. There was a discussion about should we build a bypass and uh, you know around the village and the Plainfield uh, authorities wanted it and the Marshfield folks didn't and. For those who uh, don't know where the town boundary is, it's right in the edge of Plainfield Village, and right, so right, yep. both towns had to be involved in that, and they were they were at odds. So nothing got resolved there. And uh, you know, it's interesting because when I first came to Plainfield in 1969, there was talk about Route Two being a four-lane highway, hmm. and over the years, you know, the ability of the state to do that kind of investment in the project has eroded and uh you know i don't think anyone's talking about a four-lane highway anymore but uh, right, right so uh i think the, to answer your question directly i think that the some of the beauty of the smallness of the town uh, is the two-edged sword the smallness of the town also prevents bigger and more rapid development and mm -hmm. that's a plus but uh yeah. you know we have I think about 900 voters on the checklist in town. So anything that happens uh, has to be supported by those folks financially you know, through, the, through the taxes and stuff. And so um, it kind of keeps things moving slowly and steadily as opposed to rapidly and, uh, yeah. and whatnot. So. Well, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of parts of the country have rapid growth if that's what you want. And so <laughs> not so much around here. But. I just visited North Dakota where my parents are currently oh. living, and uh, they are booming out there because yeah. of uh, uh, the oil. Um, yeah. And it's, it just looks so temporary, a lot of the development that's mm -hmm. there, out, particularly out in the western end of the state. Wow. Huh. So. Huh. Different story around here. Uh, very historic villages, in, and uh, it's uh, it is Plainfield is a beautiful place. Well, uh, Peter Youngbear, I'm afraid that uh, we're about out of time in our first hour of the Dave Graham Show here on WDEV, and I <laughs> pre appreciate you stopping by. Yep.